Welcome back. If you remember the last episode, we had a very strange intruder on our island who tried to take over our island. Luckily, I was joined by Yellow MC, who managed to help me find Dave. I managed to rescue Dave. We've still got the signs here. We need to take those out. Dave's back, though. Hi, Dave. Hello. Welcome back. We will look after you better next time. Getting him back was a nightmare because, as uh, Ted rightly said, he wasn't going to come back on his own. Hello. Little pumpkin men. I've repaired the pumpkin men's enclosure. I've got a, a little bit wrongly, really, because I've got glass here and, and stone at the other end, but I think I might just change it all into stone. They seem to be safe and sound. I have, out of episode, I got Dave back and I went and checked because Ted set the whole place on fire. I've had a look and it's out. I managed to put the fire out. It's more or less all gone. I had a nightmare getting Dave back. Luckily, he's kind of come part of the way himself and I ended up shoving him loads and then building a little dirt path along here and shoving him along the dirt path. It was an absolute nightmare. But I finally got him in back in and I want today, I want to get him out of our house and get him nice and secure in the village. But unfortunately, because I don't want to lose track of who Dave is, at the moment we've only got one blacksmith. But if we get another one... I don't want to lose track of who he is. So we're going to build him a house and I'm going to kind of lock him in his house. But it's going to be a nice house so he won't mind being in there. So I think that's what we're going to do today. We've decided, I think, which house. We're just going to have a peek over here and just make sure everything's all right over here. Where this despicable person, whoever it is, and we're going to have to keep an eye out for them and make sure they don't come back. Because I've obviously got the eye on our fabulous Badger Kingdom. Whoops. So, yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We're not going to go anywhere near this place. We're just going to lock it up and leave it. I don't know. I don't like it, really. We might come and destroy it at some point. But for the time being, it's not doing us any harm. I think, was it down here, that little cottage place? And look, it's all more or less burnt down. There's bits of glass. There's that bit down there which led down to the train tracks. Nothing in there anymore. So... Yeah, there's a bed, there's a chest with nothing in it and some zombie heads and things. So this is what's left of our intruder's house. Ted's done a really good job burning it down with most of the surrounding trees. Now the other thing I wanted to say was, I can't remember what I did with Hubert. At some point I went on a bit of an adventure and took Hubert with me, the doggy with the red collar, and I can't find him anywhere. So, I thought I left him up down near our nether portal, sitting down there, but he's not there. So, either a bad tragedy has happened to Hubert, or I've left him somewhere. So, if anybody can remember, I'm running out low on hunger. If anyone can remember where I left Hubert, please let me know. So, the plan for today is to get started on building a secure house for Dave. So, I will just see you back at our little village see you in a minute guys hi guys we made it back to the village and this is the house that is going to be dave's house um oh we've got a hello a librarian paper for diamonds is not brilliant because paper's actually quite hard to well it's not that hard to come by it's a renewable resource so this is going to be we can have a little uh spawner as well but that's going to be Dave's house. We're going to change it round a little bit. We're going to have an upstairs part for him. And we might just extend it, I think. Hello, we've got four of you in here. And you there. We're going to open the door. No, come on. Let them all out. And we're going to get rid of this mob spawner. We're going to extend. We're going to get rid of all this. Have I got a shovel? All this is going to go... And we are going to extend the house out a little bit and have an upstairs with a balcony upstairs. So he's got a lovely view over the kingdom, which will be really nice. It'd be even grander than ours. We might, we might make him the mayor. He might be the mayor of the kingdom. So yeah, we'll, we'll extend all this out, extend his house out a little bit and just take this out for the time being. And we're going to get rid of this mob spawn at not mob spawner, village spawnery thing. Because um, now that we're all... 
might just leave the doors here for the time being. But now that the villagers are all here, I don't think we need it. They're all fenced in is the word I'm looking for. So we don't really need it. We don't need a our spawnery thing. We can just get hold of all this cobble. And also, it's spoiling the view from Dave's house a little bit. And, you know, we want to look after Dave. He's had a bit of a traumatic experience being kidnapped and kept in there. I don't know what he was going to do with Dave. Is it getting night time? I think it's getting night time. So, we need to leave. Before, oh no, come on, because we don't want mobs spawning in. Do I still have a bed here? I don't think I do. So, I need to get home. We need to get home pretty quick now. Night has crept upon me. So, that is the plan. We are going to sort out Dave's accommodation. I'm hoping the village is going to be light enough. Maybe we need to look at lighting up the village a little bit more. I'm going to sort out a place for Dave, and I think to get him, I'm not shoving him all the way there again. We are going to, we've got some minecart tracks that we got when we, ages ago, early on, when we found that little abandoned mine shaft on one of the first episodes. So we will go and, are they still here? Yeah, we've got 62, but we haven't got any redstone ones, but they're easy to make. I think we have got some gold. What's cooking in here? We've cooked up our iron so that's the plan then we are going to get some we need a load of cobble which i think might be downstairs any cobble in here no was there no cobble in there not really to speak of what about this one we need to get rid of all these fences as well because they're getting on my nerves one cobble two cobble three four stacks of cobble will do us for now let's just take down these signs as well because we don't want them not with glass we don't want all these signs around we don't want that constant reminder for poor traumatized dave that he was kidnapped there you go dave they're all gone now you'll be all right you'll be safe now if only we had the dog here you see i thought i left hubert up here this is where i thought i left hubert keeping guard and watching over us but he doesn't seem to be here anywhere so if any of you guys know what happened to him, where I left him, if I did leave him there, then I think I'll just check the doghouse, but I'm fairly sure I didn't take him back there. I think it's bad news for Hubert. Nope, we've got the other two dogs all safe and sound. Hello, puppies, I've not seen you for a while. Uh, do you want to come to the village? You can both come to the village if you like. I think it'd be a pretty safe day in the village. The sheep are doing all right. Um, we don't need any more wool for the time being. And we need to just keep an eye out in case we get any more unexplained visitors. Come on then. Well, I'm going to shut the gate. You can come through it anyway, I think. So we're going to put a second floor on Dave's house. Now, we don't want it to look too out of place, so I'm going to try and keep the same roof. I'm going to take this roof down and try and keep the same. And what we could do with doing is putting some kind of other door on because I don't want villagers coming in and out of Dave's house all the time so maybe we'll have to put a metal door on and that'll help keep Dave in as well so we'll take all this stuff out for the time being strip it back and we're going to put a floor upstairs I think we're going to extend it I'm not entirely sure um, we could make it a bit bigger couldn't we we could make it out to hello doggies here maybe, about here. Uh, oops. About uh, here. This will do, since I've accidentally put one in there. That'll do. And so it's going to come out to here. Perfect. Can I not put it in with that there? There we go. We're just going to build this up and it's just going to be a cobble house because we want it to fit in the middle of the village. Although we might make ourselves another house. Really? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we keep our little badger bunker or our little badger bungalow or shall we? Oh, go away. Very annoying, you villagers. Very annoying. Or shall we make ourselves a big grand house? I don't know. I mean... The idea was not that we were going to be staying here long. We were actually just supposed to be getting to the end and killing the Ender Dragon and not messing around doing any fancy stuff. And we have kind of got distracted a bit by fancy stuff. 
like the villagers and Dave and Nymeria are going to have to get out of the way. Come on, out of the way, out of the way. Come over here, the pair of you. You just, this is why I don't bring you dogs with me all the time. You're a bit of a nuisance. Come over here. That's it. Sit down there. Have a nice look at the view. You sit there and look. Oh. Right, you sit. Sit. There you go. You can both have a lovely little look at the view while I build Dave's house. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed last episode. It was a little bit different, a little bit spooky scary. We're going to get this built and then we are going to get on with the tasks at hand. We are going to stop faffing around and we are going to look towards getting to the end to kill the Ender Dragon. Because that's what we need to do, guys. That's what the whole point of this series was. And then we'll have to make a decision when we've done that what we are going to do with our kingdom. Are we going to stay here and carry on and do some other cool things with it? Or are we going to finish the series? Hmm... We'll have to see how we feel. We'll see how long it takes us and where we get to. So it's just pretty all right, really. We just need to take these out. And we haven't had a building episode for a while. We've not done an awful lot of building. So I hope you guys don't mind a bit of a building episode. Just fill this in for now and... Yes, you are irritating, villager. Go away. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, though. I didn't mean to hit you. Sorry about that, little villager. Now, they don't seem to be breeding anymore, these villagers. I don't know if I have got up to the number of villagers. I don't know if... We've got a load of pumpkins there. I don't know if... Um, like the amount of animals and stuff you have in it affects the amount of villagers as well, or if they're separate, I just don't know. We're going to have a nice big window along here. We'll just have the whole thing as a window, and um, I'll just put that in for now. And can we, yep, yeah, build all this up to here. And we need to take all this roof out because we're going to have that is going to be all the next floor the next story so it's going to be pretty much as it was before but just with an extra story on it i think it's going to look good a lovely view out over the water that's going to look really nice this is going to be gone get rid of all this um so yeah, I don't know if you want me to continue with this in episode or out of the episode. I think it's going to take me longer than this episode. So I'll maybe get started today and we can do some, I'll do some out of episode. But let me know what you think, guys. If you want me to do all the building in episode, I'm quite happy to do it. I just might not be very interesting for you guys to watch. And anything else you want me to do, obviously just let me know. Uh, like I say, we are going to try and be a bit more focused after this and... Get some of our tasks done. We could do with getting putty cats. Um, a few other things we need to do. So, um, yeah, we need to start focusing on other things that are going to lead to our end challenge and the little challenges that Ted set us early on. I'm going to leave that bit as it is. Um, but we need to, we can leave those bits in. But these bits are going to need to go. Because that can be like the next roof. All this is good. It's all good wood we can use for the next floor. He's going to have his little bedroom upstairs. Some nice stairs leading up. And then I think he can have his viewing balcony on the next floor. Which will be pretty cool as well. So it's going to be a nice little pad for Dave. So although he will be trapped in here, he won't maybe feel like he's a prisoner because it'll be such a groovy house. Groovy, there is a word I've not used for a long, long time. Okay, so um, I'll leave all this sort of stuff in here for now. We need to think about kind of furniture for Dave's house. What we're going to have in the way of furniture. How we're going to keep... I think we'll have to... If we put an iron door on, that'll take care of all the other mobs. So that'll be for all the other villagers, rather. So that'll be fine. Let's get rid of these. We can keep these because we will probably put the same roof on again. Um, so we'll keep these, but we don't want them there for now. This is going to be the next floor. So 
So we just take all these out and all these, and they're going to be useful. They're always useful to have, so this is cool. And is it getting dark? Nope. I'm trying to think. The only other place... Oh, I know where I might. I might just have a little wander in a minute, because we did go to that ravine. Did I take him and leave him at the top of the ravine, which would seem like a sensible plan? So maybe that's what I. That's where I left Hubert. Let's go and have a look in a minute. I'll just finish this roof, and then we'll go and have a look, see if we can find Hubert near that big ravine, which was over the back there somewhere. I hope he's there, because, I, I, you know, he was my dog that I named. I'd be quite sad to lose him. I'm not very good with dogs. I don't have a very good track record with dogs. I do lose them, or they do die a lot. So I was hoping to keep hold of Hubert for a little bit longer. So we'll go and have a look for him in a minute. If not, we need probably to get another dog. I might just breed one out of the two that we've got. And he can be Hubert too. So let's just hop down here, not too much damage. We'll just get all the junk from inside. Anything falling down? Just collect up all this. And how are we doing for time? Is it becoming night time? Yeah, I think we'll pop back. Have a sleep and then we'll go and check. Oh, should we take the doggies with us? Yeah, let's go and collect the dogs. Take them with us. Because we don't want to lose any more. Come on, Summer. Where's the other one gone? Come on, Nymira. Come on, quick, let's get back because it's getting dark. Do this every time. I leave it till the very last minute and then panic because it's getting dark. Come on, puppies, let's go back. And we'll go and find, see if your brother is over near the ravine, which is, mm, I'm hoping that is where I left him. I may have taken him with me, I'm just not sure. Hi, Dave, your house is coming on really well. It is coming on well. You're going to love your new house. It'll be a really good surprise. And we're going to get you there with a minecart because I'm not shoving you all the way there. So that'll be a nice little, like a little roller coaster ride for you. Oh, oh. Oh, do you not want to move? Hmm, he's got his back to us, Dave. Oh, he's having a bit of a salt. Maybe he doesn't want to move. But you'll like it when you get there. Maybe he heard us say that he couldn't be able to get out. I think, oh, creeper, 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 creeper. Let's just run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. The dogs are going to be coming with me, aren't they? I've just realised. Because I didn't make them sit. Right, now I think it was over, was it over here somewhere? Around the back of the map, up to the near the very edge down here. Are the dogs coming after us? Yes. Should have made them sit down. I forgot about that. Right, now then, let's just make the pair of you sit. And sit, sit, right. Now then, where is that ravine? Is this it? This is not it, is it? So I have been down here, but I think... Over here somewhere there was like a big ravine. It wasn't there. You're not Hubert. I thought you were for a minute. I don't know where it is, guys. Let's have a little bit of a run further along this way and see if it's over here. Because I really want to find my doggy. I really like him. I can't believe I think I've left him somewhere on his own. There's a sh cow, not a sheep. Right, I went down. This is a ravine here. You sit, sit. Where's the other one? Oh, where's the other one? There. Sit. Right, let's have a look. Any sign of Hubert round here? No. A little look around. No, there's no sign of Hubert around here. Let's just have a look around here while the other dogs are sat down safely. No, I was wrong about Hubert being sat down over here somewhere. So, we have lost him, guys. Any ideas where he might be, if you can remember? There's a lot of dogs around here. If you can remember me sitting him down somewhere, let me know. Leave a comment. Just to tell me and I will see if I can go and retrieve him. I keep seeing all these dogs and thinking, yay, he's there, but he never is. It just isn't him. Right, guys, so it's not been an entirely successful episode. We have 
Everything is more or less back to normal though. <clears throat> Excuse me. With after our little intruder episode last week. So I think we're just about back to normal. We have... I've not checked to see if there's anything happened to the... No. But... <gasps> is that Hubert? No. Who's that? It's not. I think it's Nymira. Oh, I got all excited then. I saw the dog in the portal and I thought, oh, that's where I left him. So we have more or less back to normal. We have just got a few extra things to do and we are going to sit you two down. And we are going to try and finish Day's house and then we are going to work on a few extra challenges for next week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you later. I've been Epic Mad Badger. Bye!